All right, Shalom. Uh, you know, I'd like to start off by saying double honors to the elders of GMS and honors to you brothers out there that have been pushing this trip in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Just out there again, pushing this trip through the grace and mercy of our Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh. And you know, since it's the Passover, you know, you know, the general topic this week is going to be um, basically destruction for this place. And you know, with destruction for this place, then you know, the balance of that is going to have to be salvation for Israel. You know, right? This kingdom was set up to be the most perpetually wicked kingdom. You know that, that that's ever existed, and it's gonna always be remembered as the kingdom that was the most wicked, for the most wickedness happening. That's why it's gonna be destroyed, right? That's why also the scripture says, um, you know, if the Most High doesn't come to save us, you know, there ain't gonna be no flesh to save. So, you know, man, you know, you could have hasten a day, and it was a big thing the last couple of weeks about this guy talking about basically setting up businesses and. You know, looking, looking forward to the next couple of man. You, we gotta hasten the day, man. All right, we gotta hasten the day because I mean, I, I don't. You, you, would, would you, what do you want in this kingdom? All right, what, what, what is there? What is there for us? What is there for the children of Israel in this kingdom? All right, you've been in a, a state of being, of perpetual sla enslavement, right? Since the time we came out of Egypt, we've been in slavery. And right now, this is the worst sl enslavement because you, it's, just, it's, it's, it's enslavement by contract, contractual enslavement, right? And enslavement of the mind, right? So them contracts that you be signing, thinking you got a good job and so on and so forth, those are contractual enslavements, right? And to which most of you Negroes don't even understand what those contracts is about, right? Because you don't know how to read first and foremost, but more so than that, you don't understand that really you ain't supposed to be contracts them they're just signing you're basically making this man your master right and the laws the, the scripture says we ain't supposed to have no enough enough nation above us right i mean like i said that's why you know we, we you know we gotta be hastening today man this kingdom has to be destroyed this kingdom has to be destroyed right and it's not just a case of us being in enslavement look at all the wickedness that's being done in this kingdom Right, you got homosexuals walking up and down the street. Right, you got all kind of uh, all manner. Man, just try to get a good meal. Right, that's so it's damn near impossible because they got all of this poison. And you had this big um, this big scandal on the uh, on the news there um, the last week, where you had um, basically they were selling um, selling horse meat as beef. Right, just that in itself, you got to man. This kingdom has to be destroyed just off of that. Right, in no other kingdom had you would you would you have gone and bought some beef thinking it's beef and come to find out it's it's it's, it's some damn horse. Man. Right? Now this is second Peter's the third chapter in the third verse and says, Knowing this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers. Right? Right, and that's how we know this is the last days because that's where we're starting. We're really beginning to stay and the men of the Lord, we, which are we, you know, the men of GMS and those are affiliated to GMS. Those are the ones that we see in the scorpions because when the truth is being brought out, right? The, pe the people to whom it's being brought out against, those are the ones that be scorpion and talking the shit the most, right? Because you want to see this kingdom go on for another 20, 30 years, right? You want you, you want a, a program that's going to get America out of the debt situation that it's in, right? Or England, because England's uh, credit rating has just got downgraded just a minute ago. I've been saying it for the longest. It's going to get the... Uh, I've been saying it for the longest that um, the British economy is gonna, you know, feel it a little bit, right? And just the, just the last a couple of days got down, downgraded from a triple A rate into um, a double A, uh, double A one, right? Now I'm not, you know, I, I get into finance a little bit, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not the problem to be speaking, you know, to, 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 to break down all the financial, you know, I, I, I you know, a certain, you know, the most I said, you know, you get certain gifts. And other brothers get certain gifts, so other brothers gonna be able to break that down much better than I can. Well, I know it's got, it's got, it's just been downgraded, right? And England's supposed to be this big, financially stable uh, country, but that in itself goes to show you that this man is getting ready to be destroyed, right? Because with all of the Commonwealth that this, this, uh, this, that Britain, this country's done had, and after all of that, it's been downgraded to the same status as America's been downgraded as well. 
which was that, that that happened about this time last year. Right? It goes to show you that this kingdom is going to be destroyed. So for all you scoffers out here scoffing, what are you really scoffing about? Right? Because if, if if the men of the Lord did it, okay, let's say, let's say hypothetically, you, you, you know, you, you, we, we were talking to rough or this kingdom is never going to be destroyed. You don't have to be a genius to look on your TV and see that this kingdom is getting destroyed, man. Right? There's all kind of tension between America and Iran and all the cities that are around Iran. Right? The financial system is broken, breaking down, just like just like what happened in Rome. Right? But you you know you you, you got these uh, you, you got these seasonal prophets, uh, uh, these seasonal Israelites out here talking about you know you want this kingdom to go on for. I mean, I didn't get too deep into it. You know, I watched the breakdowns of the elders, you know, that, 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 that did the show concerning the, 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 the person that did that. But man, this is time to get haste in the day, man. And I ain't nobody to be, you know, but hey, right? If I'm the lowliest in Israel and I'm saying this is the time to be haste in the day, then it really is time to be haste in the day, man. Right? It says, um, walking after their own lust. Right, walking after their own the, the affections of their own heart. Right, the scripture says, the scripture says, out of the heart comes wicked. Uh, out of the heart, heart coming from the Hebrew word la'ab, meaning mind comes evil, um, evil thoughts. Right, thoughts based on the emotion, which is, which is an effeminate spirit. Right, that's why the scripture says, no, you know that no effeminate is going to inherit the kingdom. Now, when you break down the word effeminate, it means lack of faith. Right? That's why a lot of these women, a lot of these Israelite women, these no, these so-called Negro, Negro and Hispanic women ain't gonna make it because they ain't got no faith. Right? And first and foremost, the scripture says a woman's gonna be saved in childbearing. Childbearing of what? The Israelite men that be out here week in and week out pushing this truth. Like it says, be instant in season and out of season. Right? We don't, we don't, we don't take a week out out of this thing, man. We don't take a week out. We're, we're constantly on this thing, constantly hastening the day, right? And like I was saying, like out of the heart comes well, wicked thoughts, right? Thoughts of this, uh, you know, the thoughts that's going to throw your mind. And uh, and and, and Syriac also, also tells you that in um, you know, be not curious in unnecessary matters, because more things is going to be sold unto you than men understand. So if you ain't focused on this truth, that's what the scripture also says, be focused on this truth. If you ain't focused on this truth, you're not hastening in the day. Them demons are going to come in your mind and start messing with you. Making you think that this kingdom can really go on for another 10 years, 15 years, and so on and so forth. That's not the spirit we're supposed to be in. That's not the spirit we're supposed to be in, man. You can't, you can't, you can't you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm damn near 20, 20, 10, 21 years old. I can't walk down the damn street because my knees is hurting because the concrete's all over the ground. Right? And you get these older, older, older people, you're 60 years old, really 60 years old, you should be able to walk and really run up and down the hill, man. Right? You ain't supposed to be all up, up, up in crutches at 60, 60 is nothing, man. Men, the men of old in the scriptures used to live up a, a thousand years, right? Now, obviously, you know, most I put, took, took away that, that spirit, right? And on another side of that, um, is the fact that you Negroes and Hispanics, Native Americans, don't know how to look after your own damn selves, right? You don't eat the right food, right? You don't, you don't, you don't, um, you don't exercise, right? And that's why you know your body just be breaking down like that, right? It says, um, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the, uh, the uh, since the fathers fell asleep. All things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they are willingly ignorant, right? Most of you people out here, you are willingly ignorant, right? The news stations is out there telling you that, you know, it's, this economy is failing, right? The newspapers and news articles and all of that is out there, right? This is, you know, this, this, this is the, the, the period in time where this man has reached the pinnacle of his, uh, his te techno technological advancements. Where to where you can be anywhere and get all kind of news information, news articles, right? You got Google all over the place on your phone, on your tablet, PC, on, on, on your computer, right? You don't, you don't even have to sit down to find out a, a good chunk of information. Man, I've seen videos where, where brothers are bringing out articles just picking through their phones, right? Breaking, breaking the truth down using their phones, right? But... 
this people, man, these, the, 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 the house of Israel, you fuck with Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're willingly ignorant. Right, because the information is out here, man. We ain't bringing out nothing. I mean, hey, it's a spiritual thing in one sense, but the, the scripture speaks about the simplicity that is uh, that is the Lord. Right, man, this this thing really ain't ain't too difficult. It ain't too difficult to see this man's gonna be destroyed. Right, for all the wickedness is done to the house of Israel, one, and for all the wickedness is doing across the whole planet. That's why he's called and he's known as the border of the wicked. Right, because everywhere he goes and everywhere he sets up a border, that's where wickedness really perpetuates. Right, that's where wickedness flourishes. That's why this. That's why the scripture says in First Maccabees one and one. Right, after 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 um, Alexander has set up these three, his three generals. Right, and, and he um, when he after he after he had died, his three generals set up um, crowns upon their head, and that's when wickedness began uh, began to um, began to flourish on the planet. Right, that's what the scripture calls him the border of wicked, the border of the wicked in Malachi. Right, it says, um, For this they are willingly ignorant that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in water, right, uh, whereby the world that was uh, that then was being overflowed with water perished. Right? So just like how when Noah was out here preaching and it seemed far-fetched to you and the, them Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans then were willingly ignorant same thing is happening uh, happening right now That's why the scripture says there's nothing new underneath the sun Right? You're the same niggas coming back Right? From that time You're the same niggas that, that, that was scoffing back then Same niggas now scoffing right now Right? Scoffing against the men of the Lord Same way as the promise of his coming Right? Saying when, when, when is the Lord going to come? But we know who's going to come, right? Because of the level of this wickedness that this man is doing. What? And because of the prophecies. Because that's why the scripture says he's going to be always preoccupied in prophecy. Right? So if you ain't really getting into the prophecies, how do you, really, how do, how do you know um, when the Lord is coming? Right? And if the brothers that are, that, that are in the fold know that, you know, we, we, we're right there, man. It's, this man's about to bring out the microchip and right, right, pretty much after that, this man's going to be destroyed. Right? Which the microchip is uh, the, the RFID chip, which is, which is the mark of the beast. Because the mark of the beast is, um, comes from the Greek word. That word mark there comes from the Greek word uh, karagman, which means an incision. Right? Incision within the skin. Right, but if you ain't pre preoccupied in the prophecies and you, you're not searching through the the deeper and the darker sayings of the scriptures that the scripture says to do, right, you ain't gonna know that. But then you're willingly you willingly do that. Therefore, you're willingly ignorant. Right? It says, um, but the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word, are kept in. Right in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men right so the most likes keeping this kingdom for, for that day of judgment right for the, for that day of fire which which that fire is um representative of those nuclear missiles them inter, intercontinental ballistic missiles right they ain't just building these missiles they, they, these foreign countries just ain't getting into their nuclear technology just to put them weapons in the museum like the brother in london says Right? They ain't doing it for them. Right? These missiles is going to be used. Right? And even some of the ones that they don't launch, the most is going to put the spirit on them, the missiles to fly out and, and they're going to be launched. Right? It says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So, Man, even though we've been, even though we've been in the state of, of, of being in the statement for such, for such a long time, really, it's, it's been a, a really short period of time with the Most High, right? So this period of time that this man has really been, been, it, 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 um, been in power is really, really, a, a really short period of time in the Most High's uh, time frame, right? It says, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. As some man count slackness, but is long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right? And really, that's talking about all of Israel coming, um, coming, uh, coming back, because you know the Most High is going to select his. Well, he's already selected his elect from the foundations of the earth. Right? Those are the men that are going to be carried away 
in the chariots of which Lil Britain ain't gonna be part of that, right? But the point is, all the Israel's gonna be saved, right? So even all, all of the wicked ones of, 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 of our nation that ain't gonna make it this time round, they're gonna come back as newborn babies in the, in, in the kingdom of heaven, right? It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, right? It's gonna come as a thief, to, a thief in the night to you, um, to you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that are not getting down with this word, right? Because you ain't preoccupied in the prophecies, right? Now we can't tell you an exact date of when the Lord's gonna come, because no man knows when the when, when the day, when the day of the Lord shall be. But we hasten the day, and we can feel it. We, you know, you can feel it in the air. That, you know, the, the Lord is basically coming back to destroy this place. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it, man. You can, you can sense it. You know, you get, you know, you know, you know when the cows sit down on the grass and you can work out it's just about to rain. The cows don't know exact what, what the exact point when it's going to rain, but they know the rain is coming. Right? Same thing when before, just before, uh, 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 just before a big, big storm comes in the rain for us, you see the birds come out and flying towards uh, uh, the opposite direction to where the storm is coming. They don't know the exact point, but they know it's coming. And that's the same thing with us. We, we, man, we, we can sense it in the air. We can sense it in the spirit that the Lord's coming back. Right? It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away. Right? That's talking those about uh, um, uh, heaven. I mean, one of two things. Heaven coming from the Hebrew word Shemaya, meaning uh, waters. Right? But it could mean one thing that the skies literally themselves. Right? Or high places like like Esau's kingdom, for instance, right? So Esau's kingdom is gonna pass away, right? He says, "Shall pass away with a great noise, right? And the elements shall melt with a fervent heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, right? Seeing then that all things uh, shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be, right? In all holy com 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 conversations and, and godliness, right?" So what, what kind of what, what, what kind of what kind of uh, that's basically saying you we, we we're basically supposed to be talking and thinking about thinking about this thing thinking about this this man government right that's 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 our, that's our whole thing that should be our whole thing right now right but now you got these people you know basically get, make, making the making the flock of the Lord go basically trying to make the, the flock of the Lord go astray with, with, with some of the stuff that you know that's that's been happening in Israel in the last couple of couple of days right it says looking for and hasting unto the coming of the Lord or uh, 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 the day of the Lord our power sorry looking for and hasting unto the coming of of the day of the most high right and that's you know like I said you know we're supposed to be hastening in the day right now all right and it says wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt, melt with the fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth. Right? So, like, oh, let me see this. Um, this is a precept. This is a second, uh, this is a first John 2 and 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are therein. No, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the most high, but is of the world, right? So, uh, just jumping back to Second Peter's, right? It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth, right? I was talking about the men of the Lord that be coming out here week in, week out, who's giving their, 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 their lives up for this truth, right? Because we don't love the things of this world, neither the things that are therein. Right, because we, we we're looking forward to that new heaven and that new earth that's going to be established, pursuing to Daniel the second chapter and the forty-fourth verse. Right, we're going to be looking. We're looking for that kingdom that's going to be established and it's going to never be destroyed. Right, a kingdom that's never going to be given to other people. That's what we're looking for. Right, not for prosperity in this kingdom. Right, not for the econ economy to come back. Right? No, no. Uh, 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 we're looking for, we're looking for and hasten for the for the day um, uh, America announces war with Iran. Right? We're looking for and hasten for the day when 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 um when when when, when that chip is is made mandatory. 
right? When we got martial law out here, and we got we got tanks coming out here, right? D destroying, dest you know, basically basically destroying, because like, that's what them tanks is gonna do, right? A man not having pity on his neighbor, pursuing to um, Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter, right? That's what we're looking for and hastening for, right? Because pretty much when that's done, kingdom of heaven and new heaven and new earth is gonna be established, and we're gonna be nice. You know, that's why the Most High says, right, he that keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give a king. Right, and that's what we're looking for, because once, man, we hold, you know, Lord willing, we hold it, you know, Lord willing, I hold it down until then, and maybe, hey, maybe I'll be part of the elect. I'm going to enjoy myself in that time. All right, because, you know, the Most High is going give, to give us the, that, that power over, the, over these heathens, right, and we can execute vengeance upon these heathens. Cause ain't not, ain't not, hey, they say re the revenge is a disbreast of coal, right? So that's gonna be a beautiful thing in itself, right? And it says, "Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye sh uh, that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, right? And and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation." Even as our, be our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, had written unto him. Right? Now, we're going to jump to the next precept. Right? Um, let's jump to uh, second history. Right, this is Second Ezra's. Uh, Second Ezra's, uh, the fifteenth and the first. Right, it says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, right, the words of this prophecy which I will put in thy mouth." Right, so he's basically saying, and and hey, the same thing goes for us. We're supposed to be speaking these prophecies, right, to the house of Israel, which is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So wherever you are, really, you're supposed to be pushing this truth. Because the most likelihood is, if the most has put it in your spirit to put this truth, the most likelihood is there's, there's, gonna be, there's men that he wants to be sealed within within that area, right? And all, all that's going to happen, they're going to hear the name of the Lord and they're going to be sealed, right? And it says, um, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, all right? It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Right, and let not the incredulity of them that trouble thee and that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right? And that's the same thing it says in 1 Corinthians the 6th and 9th chapter. That, that you know, basically the unfaithful, hence the effeminate, ain't going to make it into the kingdom of the Most High. Because the unfaithful is all are those, those are seasonal, seasonal prophets. Right? When they take that time out. Man, the most I said, gonna be instant in season and out of season. Come out here week in, week out. Prophesy. It says, haste in the day. Right? You ain't hasting in the day. Take your, take your, take your time out. Right? Chilling with your family, relaxing. That's the love of this world, man. There's brothers out here that's giving up families. There's brothers out here that's giving up families now. Hey. Whatever the situation that the brothers of GMS, whatever situation the most I put you in, he said take a chip. Right? Because you don't know you don't know what kind of weakness you've done in the previous lives and so on and so forth. Right? So you just take it, you just take it cheerfully, you know, and then you just push this word. Right? But the point is you're supposed to be hastening in the day. Right? It says, um, Behold, saith the Lord. I'll bring plagues upon the earth. Right now, what are those plagues? Those plagues, um, you get the priest of Mrs. Uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. Right, Zechariah 14 and 12. Right, 
112, it says, uh, And this shall be the plague wherein, wherewith the Lord's house will smite all the people that are fought against Jerusalem, right? Their flesh shall consume away whilst they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues, and, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. Right? Now, when you understand, or you, or you put, put, put this against the precept that we just had in um, the second piece, that's basically talking about an intercontinental ballistic missile. Right? Because when that when those missiles start flying and they you know they hit their, their mark, so to speak, right, and, and all that nuclear fire, that fire not blown, right, basically it starts destroying, then yeah, people's gonna be standing on their feet and their flesh is gonna consume right out, their flesh is gonna consume away. Right? Their tongues is gonna melt in their mouths. Right, and that's the that plague that it's talking about in Second Ezra. Right? The Lord said he's gonna bring plagues upon the earth, right? It says, um, this is back in Second Ezra. It says, um, Behold, I will bring plagues upon the earth. Sword, right? The sword being those missiles and so on and so forth, the guns, right? Because this man's blessing was the sword, right? Our blessing was to inherit the kingdom forever and ever. But he was gonna have a period of time where he was gonna dwell, he was gonna dwell uh, in, the, in the Jew of the earth. Um, roughly paraphrasing the precept. It said, uh, and it says. Famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. It says, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Right? Because you is so profane as, uh, as, as Esau. Right? Who for one, for, for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Right? It says, Neither will thou suffer them. In those things in which they wickedly exercise, behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me. Right, right. One, you know, and it says, like it says in, in Micah, right. One blood defileth the land, and it's, it's never going to be clean until the blood of them that shed the first blood is going to be uh, it, 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 it's shed. Right. So America is not going to be cleansed until the 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 the, 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 the Edomites in America is destroyed. Right? And so on and so forth throughout the four corners of the earth. Right? And also, also too, right? All of those, all, all of, you know, the prophets that, that, that died for this truth and so on and so forth. Right? That, that righteous blood is crying out onto the most side to, um, so that this kingdom is going to be destroyed. So I mean, I mean, how could you want this kingdom to be going on? The scripture is telling you the blood of the righteous is basically, is, is, is hastening the day. It's hastening the day, and we're down here. We're actually down here, right? We're actually down here now. Those, those you know, those these certain men that have been in this truth and did this thing to the end, and up in the spirit world. Scripture also says that they're hastening the day. The Most High Himself is hastening the day, right? So I mean, you know, man, you re I mean, you really gotta take a good check at yourself if you're in the right spirit and mind frame of this thing, man. Because this thing is, you know, this, it, this, the, the pace, the pace, it says, although it tarry, it, it will not tarry, right? So sometimes it, it looks like, it, you know, something ain't really going down as, as, as fast as you want it to, to be going down. But the most I said, it, though it looked like it's tarrying, it ain't going to tarry, man. He's still going to destroy this kingdom, all right? And he said he's going to come as a thief in the night. So don't get it twisted if this thing goes down tomorrow. It could happen, right? Really, we, I, really I want it to go down now. Right, and that's the kind of mind frame we're supposed to be in right now. Right? It says, um, uh, unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. Like, like I was saying, the souls of the just complain continually. Right? Those, um, the, 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 well, basically, when you're down here in the flesh, you're down here in the flesh. But all the, all the prophets that have been here before, Right, and the, all the prophets that are being born, and all the prophets that are gonna be gonna be born in the near future, right? Basically, the, the, the souls of the elect are up there. The spirits of the elect are up there, hastening the day, right? Looking forward to this man going down, because we've been enslaved in, in a state of enslavement for too damn long, right? Hey, but that hey, 
But that was off of our own wickedness because we went off on these lower statutes and commandments of the Most High. The Most High set it up that we, we was the, yeah, the Most High said the creature was made subject unto vanity. Right? So, hey, at the end of the day, it's all the Most High's program of how this thing goes down. Right? To where we've. He, 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 he could drag it out another year if he wanted to, but that's most likely ain't gonna happen. Right? It says, um, And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. Right? Now, now you know, in uh, first, um, Thess uh, Second Thessalonians 1 and 6, that, you know, it's a righteous thing for, uh, uh, for the Most High, you know, to, to basically get, you know, to recompense vengeance unto them that trouble you, right? And we, you know, these this people, they trouble us, man. They've troubled the house of Israel, right? They, 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 when we was we were during the Babylonian captivity, when we were trying to get away from the Babylonians, the Edomites were there saying, there's, there goes a Jake right there. Grab him up, tie him up, right? And not only that, right on down to here where, you know, the sharks still follow the same course, the same route that the the, uh, the transatlantic ships took from uh, the west um, of Africa into America, because there were so many uh, Jews, so many Negroes, and it being be thrown overboard, right? That it became a, a, a routine thing for the sharks to follow that path. And they still follow that path to this day, right? They say like six, something like six million. Native Americans have been killed, had, had, uh, were, were killed um, during that period of time where, uh, where, where, where uh, um, Soko Christopher Columbus was establishing himself over in this, um, over in America. Right. So, uh, hey, like I was saying before, man, the, 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 the souls of the just are continually complaining that this man be destroyed. Man. Right. It says. Um, Right. It says, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent, innocent blood from uh, from among them. It says, behold, my my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. All right, and he's led to the slaughter by these these wicked um, these wicked uh, you know uh, uh, Hebrews like the brother like the brother said. Right, these effeminate pastors, right? Not only those ones that know themselves as Israel, also the ones that are in the world, right? Because those are the ones that you know really those they they also need our people uh, um, as a flock to the slaughter, right? Because they ain't breaking down the scriptures, right? That, that's why, really, if you I mean, if it just so happens that this video is being watched by someone who's kind of waking up to the street but still going to the church, them churches, man, you gotta. You gotta stay away from that madness, right? The only way is G well, GMS, but more so than that is, is the Lord. Because the Lord's dealing with GMS, right? And those and other brothers that you know push this truth in sincerity, because they you know there's one or two you know there's a few camps out there that ain't directly affiliated with GMS, but they say exactly the same thing, right? An example of that was uh, Bon Lawyer who, who passed away unfortunately, All right? But he's up there in the spirit world, right? Hasten in the day, right? And he was out here week in, week out, just like we was. Uh, sorry, just like we are, right? Unlike these seasonal Israelites telling you that that, that they, which, which are not basically hasten hasten in the days. These Hebrews, right? Telling you, uh, uh, to, you know, I, I mean, I, I mean, like I said, I didn't get all too deep into it. I, you know, like I saw the breakdowns throughout the week, but the basic gist of it is is they, they ain't hasten in the day. Right, they basically want this kingdom to go on, and it, the same thing goes with these preachers, right? Who, who are always in them, you know, who are in these churches, relaxing in, in that cool and heated uh, environment, right? When the scripture clearly tells you that you're supposed to be in the midst of this people, pushing this truth in the midst of this people, right? Go through ye through through the midst of Jerusalem, right? You're supposed to be out here on the street because your scripture says, "Wisdom cried without; she cried in the uh, chief places of concourse." Scratch in the streets. You want top so, top to any hey, They say all good uh, um, the good things in life is free, right? You go to these churches. You gonna pay. You gonna pay two two <laughs> two sets of collection, man. The collection plate goes around once, then it comes back around twice, 
Right. And you so-called nigga women, you be putting in all the, all your money. Your, your children is at home ain't being fed. Right? You put in all your money, you, you earn over the week into that damn collection plate and it ain't going to do nothing for you. Right? Because the most side doesn't go in, uh, in, in temples made of hands. Right? The Lord said when one or when two or uh, two, um, when two, one or two, uh, sorry, when two or more are gathered in my name, they should, they should I be. Right? So whenever you see these camps throughout the four corners of the earth, these camps, these camps to GMS pushing his truth in, in sincerity, that's where the, that's church. That's what the Lord is dealing with. Not, not these, uh, 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 and most of the, the most of, most of which these churches are, 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 are demonic as hell. Right? The brother did a, 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 a good breakdown of that uh, about four, um, two, three years ago. Right? Uh, that will still be up on YouTube. Right? You had all kind of demonic symbolism within, 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 within the churches. Right? The, 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 the top of the church ceiling looks like a, 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 um, like, like a tree for a reason. Right? Because it's supposed to look like a tree. Right? Because it, it said, because the scripture says you ain't supposed to be praying underneath the tree. Right? Which, which shows you how demonic um, them, them, them churches are. That's why the Lord said he doesn't dwell in temples made of hands. He dwells wherever two or more are gathered in his name. And that's, that's in these streets, that, that um, in these camps, from the four corners of the earth. Right? This is back in... Um, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. It says, uh, "Behold, my people are led as a flock to the slaughter. I will suffer them. I will. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a might, mighty. Uh, 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 sorry, but I will bring them. Um, but I will bring them with a mighty and mighty hand and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues." Right? So like I was saying earlier, man, salvation goes to Israel. The minute that happens, Edom was going to be destroyed. Egypt, right? Because Egypt just comes from the, um, the, the, the Greek word meaning uh, um, enslavement. Because that's, that's where the, 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 um, the Hebrews were enslaved. Right? It says, uh, but I will bring them with a mighty and stretch that arm, and my uh, uh, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and destroy um and sorry, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and I will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with plagues, and the punishment of the most south shall shall um shall and the punishment that the most house shall bring upon it right it says and they shall, and they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fell through the blasting and hell and with a fearful and dread constellation right it says woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and the one people shall stand up to fight against another and with swords in their hand right and it says uh this is let's jump to mark 13 and 8 for a minute It says, uh, this is Mark 13 and 8, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom, and kingdom against kingdom, and they shall be earthquakes in different places. Right? That's pretty much what we're seeing right now. We've got, we got earthquakes um, all over the world, right? We've got all kind of, well, one, one thing is, we got this um, erratic weather throughout the four corners of the earth, this, uns you know, all kind of, you know, weird weather happening in, in, in the world. I think it's been the lo last five years, going on ten years, has been the most unpredictable weather, right? That's because this man's playing with that harp system, right? And also, also more so than that, the most I said the other day he's playing with his harp system. So really, it's the most I that's in control of all things, right? It says, um, uh, a nation shall rise against a nation, right? You got, you know, different nations throughout the four corners of the earth rising up against different nations, right? You got, um, and it says, and they shall be famine and troubles 
right? You got the the beginnings of famine. What's the beginnings of famine? You got the the them, them triple credit, uh, triple A credit ratings being downgraded to double A's, right? Eventually, the economy fails. People can't buy no food. Inflation and so on and so forth. All right, that's when famine begins because you can't farm you can't farm out in this land. The, 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 in, in England and in America, you can't. There's no places where you can really do some farming and grow your own food and sustain yourself, right? The people out here is completely dependent on, 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 on the government, right? That, that's why when this chip really comes out, the people are going to run as a flock to it, all right? And that's why the scripture says my people are led as a flock to the slaughter, right? Because them preachers is going to tell them to, to, to get them chips, right? And that's why, that's why you gotta be, we, we gotta be pushing that, that vibration, that, that, that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Because cause these people don't, the, the, the people, the house of Israel don't know. Right? The, these so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, these people don't know. And they're gonna be led as a flock to the, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to the slaughter when they get them, them RFID chips. Right? Which is the mark of the beast in accordance to the, uh, to the, to, to Revelations. Right? And it says, um, and they shall be famine and troubles. Uh, these are the beginnings of sorrows, right? This is back in um, uh, Second Ezra, the fifteenth and the sixteenth. It says, "But they shall be sedition among men, invading one another, right? They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and of the course of their actions they shall not stand in their power." And a man shall desire to go into a city, he shall not be able to, right? Because so, you're going to have these tanks basically barricading and people are holding people into one location, right? Because all of these, in these major cities, all of these roads are, are built like grids for a reason, right? Because all you have to do to keep people in one place is lock off, one, lock off the top of the road and lock off the bottom of the road and you can't get in or out of that area, right? That's why the scripture says, there's gonna be, you know, a man's gonna to decide to go one, to one part of the city, or from one part of the city into another part of the city. He's not gonna be able to, right? And that's why, you know, you got these uh, uh, um, different countries basically investing a lot into um, into those um, into those tanks and so on and so forth, right? So people, people, uh, so these these major countries, England, and America, they they getting them tanks ready, they getting themselves ready because they they know basically. A martial law is about to be implemented, right? They might, there's gonna be a false flag that's gonna happen, right? They're gonna get that false flag going and they're gonna put martial law into place. Bring that chip out and hey, you know, the, the, the game's over, the fat lady sings, you know, the, that fat Russian bitch is gonna sing, right? And basically that big false flag might be, you know, it might, it might be a real, you know, it might be the real thing, it might be America going into Iran, right? And, and with that happening, you know, that might be in a state of a, a, a martial law implemented in America, right? Or it might happen the other way around, false flag, martial law, or America goes into a war with Iran. You know, but, but, but it's still going to happen, you know? Right? The chips going to come out. America's going to go to war with Iran. And, you know, the, 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 you know Iran, Iran's got them um, allegiance with Russia. So Russia's going to get up, all up in there, right? And then the Russia's going to send them nuclear missiles playing over to America and you know the fat, you know the, the the fat Russian bitch is gonna sing man that's them, them nuclear best them nuclear them, them, them nuclear missiles are gonna hit America right and also a little you know thing that most people don't realize is the minute uh, martial law is implemented in either England or America the other country is gonna do the same thing so they basically they got a treaty with each other England and America so if, if they were supposed to have, be a false flag in America uh, sorry in England right that, in, uh, that uh, to where with uh, England um, goes into a state of um, martial law, that means America is going to go into a state of martial law because they got to treat it uh, there. Same thing goes in the other direction. So if America goes into a state of martial law, England will be in a state of martial law as well. All right, because it is it's, 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 it's a documented um, treaty. All right, and this is back in uh, Second Ezra the fifteenth. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, right? But because of their pride, their city shall be troubled and their houses shall be destroyed, right? And men shall be afraid. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy 
their houses and with the sword and, with, uh, and spoil their goods, right? Because of the lack of bread and and for uh, uh, for great tribulations, right? Now we jump to the last uh, last last one last precept for the day. Now this is uh, Revelations the 18th and one. Right, and it says, and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and and the earth was lit in with his glory and he cried with a mighty strong voice saying Babylon the great has fallen right and we know Babylon to be America because that's the, that city of, of um, great confusion because when when John saw this vision Babylon already been destroyed so he had to be talking about a different Babylon right it says and he cried with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and of um, and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird for all nations have drank the wine of the wrath of her fornication right and the kings of the earth committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy right because all of the countries of the world are prospering through america's um uh basically through america's uh, policies their democracy and so on and so forth that's why the scripture says right um that's why the scripture says basically you know all the kings of the earth is committed fornication with it right she poured out the wrath of her fornications to, to to those countries right what's the wrath of her fornication is that democracy right the most High basically deals with dictatorship Namely, you got you got Lord at the top, and underneath the Lord is King David, and right, and then and then so on and so on down the ladder. They, they, there is no voting system within within the kingdom that's going to be established in the Lord. Right, he's going to set it up to he's going to have his rulers on the top, right. And if you're a servant or you're or you're subject to Israel, you're just going to take it, or you can get you know, you can get your head you know rolling down the street, right. It says, um, and he, uh, sorry, it says, um, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, right? My people, that ye be not be partakers of her sins and receive of her, uh, receive not of her plagues, right? And like I said, those, that, those plagues are those, those nuclear missiles. Right, and that's like, like like I was saying. The whole lesson today was destruction of America and salvation of Israel. Right, Israel being you, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All the Israel dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. Right, because the most I set it up, like I say every week, that you know you're gonna have Israelites and go look not, like they're not Israelites, but they're gonna still have that zeal for the Most High. So that means to say, you know, the only only Israel has a conscience and a zeal for this truth. Right, so that means that that particular person would, be, would have to be a Jake, right? After the type, you know, after the tribe of Jacob, Israel, right? So he's saying they come out of her, my people, so you be not partake of her, of her plague. That's basically, that's basically them chariots take, taking them, taking, taking those uh, elect men up, right? Just before them nuclear missiles hit, right? It says, um. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Mosai hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even as she had rewarded you, double unto her, according to her works, in the cup which she hath filled uh, to her, double. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously. So much torment, sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and no, I, uh, I am no widow, right? And a uh, shall see no sorrow because there ain't no, you know, there ain't no major war that's really happening in America, right? And that's the kind of pride that the, the, the America goes with. Like they, they basically say, you know, the, you know, the, the, they, they, they have that pride about their Marines and so on and so forth. And what armies like the Marines, man, the Russians gonna take you down first and foremost. One and more so than that, they ain't no greater power than the Lord. And that spirit that he's gonna put amongst his people, where with he's gonna destroy America. With with a, with a couple of men, it's gonna be beautiful, right? It says, um, "Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, 
death, uh, uh, death, mourning, and famine, and she shall utterly be, be burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth, right? And the kings of the earth who have committed fornications and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her, right? They're going to see America being destroyed on these news TV channels, right? And they're going to be well America, right? He says, and lament for her. And when they, and when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off, for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for one in one hour thy judgments come, right? And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth her merchandise any more, right? And we'll jump down to 17, and it says, For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the companies, uh, it, it, old company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by the sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning and saying what city is like unto this great city and they cast dust upon their heads and cried weeping and wailing saying alas that great city wherein we were made rich and all that they had ships by the sea by the reason of our costliness for in one hour is made desolate right it says rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy apostles you know which is you know the men that come out here we can we can't put in this truth and sincerity right it says for the most high have avenged you right like i was saying earlier the most high deals with vengeance he says it he says it he says he, he, the most high is a man of war one and he's a, uh, to be warlike is to take vengeance sometimes not sometimes all the time you touch my people i'm gonna fuck your people over right and he also said, the Mosai also said that, that, that Israel is likened unto the apple of his eye. Right? So you touch the apple of someone's eye, man, they're going you know, to mess you up. Right? He says, uh, And a mighty angel took up a, st a stone, like a great millstone, and cut it up and, and, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the uh, city Babylon be thrown down. Right? And that's that nuclear missile, those nuclear missiles coming across, right? And and shall be no more at all. Right? Now that's pretty much it for this uh, today's session. You know, like I said, you know, the main lesson was, you know, hasten in the day. Because as soon as this man is going to be destroyed, that's salvation to us. Which, you know, you, you should be, you should, we should be, you know, if you, if you talk to call yourself a man of the Lord, you're supposed to be looking forward to that. All right? And with, of which, it's a proper thing to say, you know, you know when you're a man of the Lord, you, you, most, you know, you see the brothers out there, they say, you know, Lord willing, we're the man of the Lord. But then it's kind of evident that we are the man of the Lord because we come out here week in and week out, see, in season and out of season, pushing you and giving you this truth. No one else on this planet does that. So it's most likely that we're the men of the Lord. All right? But then, you know, you can see the certain, the, the certain uh, you know, if the monster is giving you that spiritual discernment, you can see it when a man comes out like that, like, like, like that dude on YouTube done said, a 14th Israelite uh, uh, Shebrew, done said it, man, that, that's not a man of the Lord, man. The man of the Lord ain't gonna be like the man of the Lord is gonna come out of here week in week out pushing this truth in sincerity, right? Against, against, against all odds, man. No matter what's happening in his life, no matter what the weather's like, cause I mean, it look right now it looks like it's warm, it's cold as hell. But hey, like I said, Lord willing, I'm a man of the Lord myself, all right? But speaking on behalf of all, 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 all the people in GMS, man, those are those are those are real brothers out there, man. Those are the those are the, those are the real prophets. Man, it, the truth comes out rough, but you know it comes out rough. That's how we bring it, cause we ain't no faggots out here, man. We, we you know, we, we're men out there, right? And and that's why it also says in Ezekiel the fourth and nine of nine of four, right? Uh, 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 um, you know, you suppose uh, set, setting a mark upon the men that sigh and cry. What sigh and sigh and crying? Is, you know, that's a mournful thing. And this this sheep we was talking about. Uh, I just I just remembered it how we're supposed to be why, why we not you know why why why, why are we so angry man look one was one were hastening in the day two were sighing and crying for the abominations thereof three right the most said we're supposed to be angry 
Lord said we're supposed to be angry. He said a, 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 a man of wisdom is basically well, man, man, man may be known by his countenance, one, right? And the principle of that is Ecclesiastes the seven and the seventh, where it pretty much says, uh, 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 um, to the effect of you, you know, we, you, when you see, um, uh, let, me, let me get it out so I don't. Step up with my words. This is Ecclesiastes the seventh and the seventh it says, "Surely oppression maketh the mad mad, uh, maketh the man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart." So, surely oppression. We're in an oppressed strait right now. You know, so we, we we're you know we're angry. We come out here. We bring it out rough, right? But the scripture also tells you the the, the 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 flip side of that. The Lord said, the Lord said, you know, His word comes out and it cuts, man. Right, and he, most I said we're the mouthpiece of the most I so it's gonna come rough. If it ain't coming rough, it ain't the truth. Right, but I mean, pretty much with that said, you know, Lord willing, that lesson is gonna be useful to somebody. But I mean, Lord willing, that lesson is gonna be, you know, edifying. And you know, you brothers stay strong in this truth. Like I said, man, hasten the day. Right, we're nearly out of this thing. You know, this might be the last Passover, Lord willing, this is the last Passover.